Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, I'm going to go over how you can repair the leather on your BMW steering wheel without replacing it. Today is going to be a super simple video on how to do this. The product that we are going to be used is called Color Lock and I have to give a massive shout out to Color Lock for sending out this product. It comes with a die, a cleaner and a protector that goes over the die to keep your steering wheel looking brand new. And the other best thing about Color Lock and why you should be using Color Lock is that you have OEM dies that will match your car 100%. So check them out in the link below. They also have other stuff. You can re-dye seats. They have repair kits if you have holes in your leather and all the good stuff like that. So check them out in the link below. Before I show you the actual product we are going to use, I want to show the current state of my steering wheel. I took some before pictures too, but look at that. You can see there's all discoloration. And how did this happen? When I bought my car, the dealership put some dye over it. That was some cheap dye. Just put it right over it. And I took my leather cleaner because it was super shiny and tried to clean it. And it stripped it right off, leaving this awful look. Um, it's gotten worse over time. Every single time I kind of clean my car, it would get a little worse. So you can see all right here, that's the dye. That's the non-dye. And over here is just complete. That is just all worn down from use. So we're going to clean it and then we're going to re-dye it. So let's show you guys the product that we're going to use. So here is the product. Like I said, you get a cleaner, a color, and the care. Again, the cleaner, I, there's two different ones. You can get a mild and a strong. I want the mild. We have the color, which is the dye, and the care is the protector. The other thing that you can get is a scrub brush, which I'll be using. I highly recommend that to scrub when you're using the cleaner. So let me take this out of the box, show you what we have, and then let's get cleaning. So here is the kit. Another reason why I love this kit, look at everything. It comes with everything that we're gonna need. The cleaner, the dye, the protector, some sponges to put it on, some towels, everything that you're going to need to put it on. So I think we're gonna get some great results. I'm gonna set you up in a time lapse and we're gonna clean this steering wheel. All right, you, as you can see, the steering wheel is 100% clean. It is still a little damp. I definitely gotta make sure it dries before I put any dye on. But one last thing that I am going to do is I'm going to put on this leather cleaning spirit. It's gonna re remove any wax, grease, anything just left over. It's gonna just pull off the steering wheel, make sure we have a nice surface to apply the dye. And guys, this color lock stuff is no joke. Look at all that dirt in, it's dye too. It's dirt and dye that was taken off. But we're gonna put on a proper dye now. Um, this, the right side of the steering wheel, all you probably can't see, all right here is in like really, really good condition. This is all the rough spots right here, as you can see. Whoever owned this car was definitely rough. With. We're going to put some on a rag, and we're going to go around the whole steering wheel and clean that off real quick, and then we will start the dyeing process. Just in case anyone is curious, here is my tape job. I taped this side off pretty nice because it's pretty bad. Um, down here, over here, I'm gonna try not to touch this because this leather, like this part right here, is like super, super good. So we're gonna try to blend it in somewhere here. But all of this needs to be touched and all of here needs to be touched. Um, we cleaned it up really well. We're gonna throw on a microfiber towel over the steering wheel and we're gonna start dying. So what we're going to do is we're gonna kind of brush it in like this. So we have a little sponge and we're gonna go and then we're gonna dab it so we don't get any streak marks. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so we put our first layer on. It looks pretty good. It's definitely starting to blend. It's not perfect. It's gonna take some 
working at, but the color, I started to blend it in over on the right, which you can't see, but I'll show it to you after. And the color is like spot on, like it is awesome. So I guess the next thing I need to work on is dabbing it. That should help get rid of some of the marks if we dab into it instead of leaving white marks because then you're going to see that when it dries and you, you really don't want that. You want some nice uniform looking leather. So that's kind of what we're working on now is dabbing it. There's definitely some, there's a tough spot in between the steering wheel and where the buttons go that I really want to to get but overall it's it's looking out it's turned out great um i'm really happy with the results so far it's the color is spot on i'll tell you that that is is crazy the color is like perfect so if you're worried about that i would not be because it just looks fan freaking tastic it's really starting to look good i'm going to continue doing that and then um i'll show you guys the finished result i think we're going to put protector on it but we're going to wait we're not going to do it today only because um, this leather is, I think it needs a little bit of time to actually die to cure. And I, I don't want to even put it on today. I want it to fully cure just to make sure we have a really nice finish. All right, everyone, so I did end up going over all of the leather and it looks really good with the color lock solution. Obviously, this is a DIY job, so results can vary, but I think it came out very well. Obviously, there's a few spots that everything's not perfect. It looks very, very good. I'm absolutely amazed by the results. There's one last thing we have to do is we have to put some protection on here. You can do either shield or protector or both from color lock. I'm going to go with shield just because the leather in this car is pretty new. On some of the older leathers in your car, you may want to use a protector. I do have bolts. I think I'm going to put, throw shield on here. One thing that I didn't do and I should have done and I actually went back and did because I was noticing some streak marks. It's very important to dab when you have the applicator is to dab it on. Just go like this. You can do a wipe first. But after, come back and dab, 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 and then heat gun. A heat gun makes all the difference when doing this. When I showed it to you guys, obviously this is a learning process. I've never done something like this before, so I am learning and a heat gun and dabbing, that's how you get the best results and that's how you get some really good results here. Obviously, I probably do need to clean my wheel already a little because it has been a few days, but we are going to throw on the shield and absolutely killer results. And as you probably saw, we'll do some before and after photos. It looked horrible before. It looks so much better now. All right, so we have the two products here. We have the leather shield, which is highly effective protection against abrasive damage, discoloration on pigmented smooth leather, exactly what this is, pigmented smooth leather. And then we also have the protector, which nourishes and protects pigment smooth leather with UV protection. So I think we're gonna start with this just because this is somewhat of new leather. We're gonna throw this on, basically gonna throw some on a microfiber and just put it all over the wheel, make sure it's nice and saturated into the leather. An important thing to know, it says apply leather shield immediately after cleaning in 24 hours after touching up the color, any repairs. So definitely wait. Um, another thing, it says it's to put this on every three to six months. So that's what we're going to do. And that's how you keep your leather nice and supple and soft. We want to protect our leather. So we're gonna throw some of this on. All right guys, so there you have it. It is applied. It feels awesome. After applying it, it feels super like, like I don't know how to describe it. Very, very smooth, but not slick to the point where your hands are like falling off. It's a very nice feeling product. And that was just the shield. I am going to put the protector on. I just, I don't think I'm gonna put it on now. I think I wanna let this soak in 
and then I'll come back another day, maybe tomorrow, and throw on this protector. I'm gonna use the shield on any of my bolsters as well on my car, just because any of the high traffic area really needs to be protected against any abrasive, so I think that's the game plan. But yeah, so far, it looks awesome. I absolutely love the way Color Lock came out. It's time to close up the video, but I can't say enough good things about this. The die is a dead match, as you guys saw, and I'll throw some before and after, but the die dead match to um, the leather steering wheel, the black BMW leather is dead, dead match. So. All right, everyone, I wanna thank you guys for watching today's video. Today was an awesome, awesome video. I'm so excited that I was able to restore the leather on my BMW F10 steering wheel. I was really worried I was gonna to have to go out and buy a new steering wheel after I stupidly stripped all the dye off. I mean, it wasn't really my fault. I can't say that because I just used a good leather cleaner and it stripped the crappy dye out that the dealership put on. And I will say one thing, I was curious to see how well this dye withholds to the leather. I tried stripping it off with the leather cleaner that I stripped off the other dye with. It wasn't Color Lock, I forget the name of the company, but regardless, it wasn't able to strip it off. The other stuff just came right off. This stuff stayed on. I'm assuming if you put enough force, this stuff will come off, so just be mindful of that. But I will say it is a strong leather bond. Excellent color match as you saw. It looks super OEM and I can't say enough good things. Like always, any of the products that I use in my videos, I'll have it linked down below. You can get some insane results using Color Lock, so check them out in the link below. All you need is a hair dryer and heat gun and you will get some insane results. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a huge thumbs up, and also check out my Amazon ECS affiliate link down below as it helps out the channel at no cost to you. That is all I have for today's video and I'll catch you guys in the next one.